It's March 1st, yet it still feels like January. Just a bit. Jack the Giant Slayer is directed by X-Men fan favorite Brian Singer and stars the warm bodied lead Nicholas Holt as the title character. This latest rendition of the classic story falls closely behind 2010's Jack and the Beanstalk released on home video with Christopher Lloyd, which no one saw. But this one, three years later, and not by Avalon Home Entertainment, was entertaining and certainly kept my attention, but sadly is not a good movie. But let's be honest, you already saw that one coming. The biggest problem here, and something that you can clearly see in the trailer, is the CGI. The giants don't look terrible, but there's just so much CGI that it's, it's really hard not to think about it. And there are some shots in this movie where it is so blatantly obvious that the actors are on a set in front of a green screen that you have to expect Gollum to come waltzing in doing his Jekyll and Hyde routine. But bear in mind, I did enjoy the film despite all the CGI and was actually seriously considering giving it a three star rating. However, something happens at the end, which is of course meant to set up for the overpriced reject of a sequel to be in two years. And that didn't necessarily surprise me, but the problem is that who they show at the end literally makes no sense at all. I don't want to spoil anything, but if you see the film, You'll know what I mean. I get what they were going for, but it just, it doesn't make any sense. And so, because of that overly stupid ending, which could have been fantastic, mind you, I have to give it two and a half out of five stars. I should probably mention that I saw this in IMAX 3D, mainly because I'm an IMAX addict and have to always have the biggest screen possible. The IMAX screen by itself definitely enhanced my enjoyment, but the 3D, I probably could have gone without that. I don't think you'll regret seeing it in 3D, but at the same time, it's really not necessary. Of course, when is it ever necessary besides Avatar? So rent it, see it in theaters, or skip it. Choice is yours. Thanks for your time, and have an awesome day.